Alrighty, we are back and we've picked up a little bit of iron ore to chuck in here. These are going to be chucking out some stuff. Just control click that. Oop. Take half of each of those back and put them over here. And that is going to give us a bunch of circuit boards. And as we said, we need 75 of the damn things just for now. Just for now. And then we need transistors and we need 75 times 4 is 300 transistors. So let's go ahead and grab some stuff. So plastic. Where's my plastic gone? Do we have 300 in here? Yes, we do. One, two, three. So 300 plastic, 300. Oh, wait a sec. This produces five transistors each. So we don't need 300 plastic. We only need 60. Uh, let's put some of that back. So we only need 60 and 60 tinned copper wire. Where's my tins? Is this... Is this tin copper wire? I think this is tin copper wire. Yeah. How much have we got? 70. All right, beautiful. Now, all that we need is these silicon wafers, which are pain. But they can't be more pain than hydrogen chloride. So let's go have a look. I take it back, they are more pain. <laughs> all right, carbon, we got calcium chloride is stone and hydrogen chloride. Okay. Calcium chloride, we make it in here. So we just need to pop that over there. This is gonna be calcium chloride. We're gonna put a chest there. And stone, stone is another thing that we probably don't have a lot of, but we might still have some in here. Yes, we do. How much do we need is the question. Calcium, let's just say 500. We got so much stone in here. It's all good. Logistics robots finished. So we, now we can conceivably construct the damn things. Although we will need batteries and we will need transistors and we will need blah, 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 blah. So, oh, and the provider chests need electronic circuit boards. So it all comes down to electronic circuit boards at this point. And robots are a massive pain in the ass in bobs, much more than normal. Where am I going? Uh, most of that stone in there, or half of that stone. That gives us some calcium chloride, which we need, and we need quartz, silicon ore. I smelted all of this silicon ore, didn't I? Did I? No, it ran out of fuel. Let's just take the quartz right out of there. That was lucky. And now, carbon. I've got 29 carbon, but we can grab some more here. Silicon plate is going to be another one of these bloody stinking electrolyzers. The massive ones. They look so tiny, but they're just massive. Okay. You go there, and you go there, and then we dump a whole bunch of everything into you. And then you produce silicon plate. I promise you all of this will be done properly at some point. Uh, just not now, not while we still have this stupid oil crisis going on. <laughs> oh, that makes it sound so crazy. Uh, silicon wafer, I think I missed a step. Oh, no, it's just that. Silicon wafer. We're going to semi-automate this stuff. And then we're going to put transistors over here. Uh, or those guys in there. And you can take these guys as well. And then we need a bunch more of these. I really should be taking these from the mall, but... My crafting speed is so fast at the moment that it really doesn't matter. Okay, so this is then going to be circuits, finally. So, put those in there, we put those in there. Uh, how do we do this? <laughs> yeah, it's like shifter. 
Well, let me have a look at the options menu. Controls, mods, bulbs adjustable inserters. Shift E, rotate its pickup location. That's not doing it. It's supposed to rotate only the pickup and the drop location remains the same, but it's not doing it. So let's just do that. Okay, now let's throw it in there. And we need these guys. And I don't think I put them in a chest, which was my mistake. We should be chesting these on the bus for situations just like this. But if we go up now and then we go into here. There we go. One electronic circuit board has been made and we need 75 more of the damn things. Or 74 more anyway. So let's go up and have a look at engines. We got 88. That's beautiful. We have a look at brass. We're not even storing them either. I really got to get in the habit of storing all of these things because when I need them, I don't want to have to go and walk all the way over to the belt and pick up the damn things. It's just painful. It's just so painful. Probably don't need that many, but let's cache a bit. 75. Alrighty, so we got all of those, all of those batteries. How many batteries do we have? More than enough. Ah, oh, let's just take 200, why not? And now, in terms of science pack threes, where am I? I'm so lost. Ah, uh, we can, we're just gonna automate these down here because we can chest. And those are going to be our science packs. And so we need engines, and we need batteries, and we need bronze, and we need electronic circuits, which we're currently building, which we're actually backed up on because we're not using them for anything. So these take 12 seconds. These take 5 seconds. We really should cache these, and we can do that in a very interesting way. Uh, shift R doesn't work anymore, does it? Ah, uh, it used to work, it really, really did. Okay, now you pick up from there. There we go, that is nice and cozy in there. And now we got blue circuits going in. We have two at the moment. Uh, research, advanced oil processing. I'm not going to belt these over. I'm just going to keep manually picking them up and chopping them over. And while we're chopping these over, we can start actually... Um, we can start actually setting up the cracking in advance for how it's going to work. Speaking of which, we're going to need circuit networks. I don't think I researched them yet. Uh, or maybe I did. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, what is this, nitrogen? Um, no, I don't think I have. Or maybe I have. Um, we got wires. We got combinators. Okay, so we do have circuits. That is excellent. We need some copper, though. No, no, no. So, why can't we build these? Insulated wire. Damn you, Bob. You have just, you've screwed me over for the last time. I hate these little things. Rubber takes resin. Resin is a pain. It's a pain. Uh, what do we need? We need a chest down here that we can store some extra resin in. Because we seem to need the stuff. And then we actually need to smelt this. Are you serious? We need to smelt resin to get rubber. Oh my God. Ah, uh, is it too late for me to start again with just a vanilla game? I know it's boring, but this is, ah, this is just pain. Pain on a whole other level. At least I'm using angels. Angels would be pain on 10, 10 different levels. If you played with angels, you know what I'm talking about. Particularly the, the mining is nuts and the petrochem is nuts. And I thought this would just be like, 
oh, I don't have to deal with the mining and I don't have to deal with the Petrochem and uh, it'll be beautiful. Uh, if you're wondering, the mining, you actually have to turn ore into other ore and you have stone as a byproduct and you end up with a bajillion stone everywhere and it's just like, why? Why would you give me so much stone and not tell me what to do with it? Because you can't use it for much, uh, unfortunately. Sorry, so we've got a ton of rubber and tinned copper wire. So we're going to need Mr. Tinned Copper Wire. Yep, there we go. We almost want everything to be in a chest at some point. Every single product we make needs to be in a chest. That's how ridiculous it's getting. Uh, insulated wire, which means we can make a whole bunch of these guys. And what do we need here? Do we, we don't need a combinator, I don't think. We need a pump, that's right. We need a pump. Luckily, we're already building engines. Beautiful. And then we activate the pump when we need stuff. I wonder if we can squeeze this in a little bit further because I just realized I need lubricant. Although, what I might do is we need lubricant, but we can get it from coal once we get the advanced resources. Uh, this stuff, heavy oil. Uh, yeah, we can produce heavy oil from coal and then we can turn that into lubricant. And I think I might do that because then we don't even need to worry about this sort of stuff. Okay. Put that back in. So then we can just crack everything here absolutely everything and i think i like that a bit more because it's just simpler and better so let's have a look here now cracking of course requires water so oof, we're not going to hook that up yet but water is fine water we just get some more of those pumps out here and where where are those pumps i thought of Built a few. Could have sworn I built a few more. May have used them already. So let's go get some steel. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some. Ah, get some pumps. Just because it makes life easier. And making life easier is a good thing so don't want that heavy oil goes out here comes over here and all gets pumped into the cracking and then we need some undergrounds nice to see that things have finally started to back up in the mall over here finally starting to see everything getting built this is not backed up but it takes so long to build engines so that's why that's taken so long um and then we move this guy down to here, light oil. And then we go move this over to this guy. Don't quite make it, but that's close enough. And that is gonna be light oil. And then the output is, goes down to petroleum. Ah. And we're still producing some stuff out here. They haven't quite filled, but I think they're producing a little bit because we just increased the pipes. So some of the light oil ran down the pipes and worked all that crap out. Uh, what do we got here? Nine more science packs. This is going to be a little bit painful. I promise if we haven't finished advanced oil processing by the end of this episode, I will just finish those blue sciences all in slow time because it is quite a bit of pain. And once again, the same with these guys. I can't remember which side the blue goes on. So we're going to actually go onto Google and um, look at light oil cracking setup just so I can see what side it is. Uh, all right, here we go. 
Okay, oh, that's not what I wanted. You actually open the damn image. Okay. All right, that's beautiful. First of all, that tells me that the water goes in this side, over here, which is fine. And secondly, I've done this wrong, is the water actually goes in this side. So while we're here, let's actually fix all of these things. Those are all backed up, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, it does seem like water goes in the other side. So probably should have Googled that in the first place, but it's not that bad. We've got plenty of time to do this sort of thing. God freaking damn it. Okay. Love having the, uh, I can't remember it, what the mod's called, squeak through I think it is, but the mod that lets me walk in between these pipes because normally in vanilla you're not allowed to do that. you got to set up your areas properly so that you actually have to walk around the pipes but now we just walk through them. So definitely if you're playing any sort of game and you don't mind having mods I would fully recommend actually getting squeak through. And um, what's the thing called? Uh, a bottleneck as well. Bottleneck is the thing that shows these little lights. So yellow means blocked, green is good, and red means no more resources. So they are absolutely 100% beautiful. So we just fix those and water goes here. Where are our pumps? Yeah. That was a bit stupid. Thing over there. Power there, so that's water, and that's going to be fine. And we've got heavy oil here, and we'll just continue. We'll find s we shouldn't need too many. Five is probably more than enough, actually. It's really, it really is light oil. That's the uh, that's the killer that you really get a lot of because the uh, what is it? The better oil processing still gives you forty-five light oil for every 55 petroleum. So that's something that you really have to crack down a lot. If we were gonna to continue to use this crappy recipe, then heavy oil would be a pain, but in the future, I've just boned this, haven't I? Um, this is not gonna work. All right, let's go for option number two. Go there. I'm not sure why I'm using underground so much. It's kind of a waste, but... Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game! I am so bad at this game. We need to put these out a little bit further. And you know what? I'm done, done with the undergrounds. I'm just not using them anymore. Screw you. Well, I'm using them, but not for this sort of stuff. Uh, just go ahead and build me a ton. Build me a ton. So we use undergrounds there. It's lucky I left so much space. If I had not, so if I had said, oh yeah, you know, three spaces, it'll be fine. That'll be beautiful. We might have been in trouble. So go up there. Fix this up. Not even going to underground that, just going to heavy oil that. Set that up, get some lights because we're severely lacking in lights for this setup. We haven't even got lights for the uh, refineries. Man, I have been screwing that up for a while. He... Oh, where have my lights gone? I thought I built tons of them. They're all just disappearing on me. Man, gotta keep remembering to go back. This one's not running, because this one's not running, because this one's not running. Why is this guy not running? Did I not dump enough? How many of these guys did I just pick up? Only five. Oh, I probably didn't pick it up enough uh, of the, uh, the thingamabobs. 
the basic electronic components. I picked up a ton, but you really need a ton. I mean, that's just crazy, the amount of those basic electronic components you need. Uh, let's go down and let's go and check it out. Yep, basic electronic components, all missing. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Because, uh, I mean, we need four for each of these. And so we need somewhere in the tune of 300. Oh, I just got 300. Okay. Uh, control click that. That's put 200 in there. Let's duck another 100 in there. That should keep it going forever. We've got enough of these phenolic bores. Do we have enough? 21. Tin. We're a little bit low on tin. I'll put some more tin in there because I do not want to have to go back to this damn thing over and over again because it's running out of stuff. We've got more than enough tin. Let's put some damn tin in there. All right, so that's going to be enough boards. Copper. I feel like copper is okay, but let's put in some more copper as well. The phenolic boards. I'm pretty sure we had a we calculated the phenolic boards well enough. So I feel okay about that. This guy is going to be fine. Transistors are running strong. Silicon is run out, but we got 186. And each one of those produces eight of these. So we got no problems with silicon wafers. They're going to be tons of those. Tons of these. A bit slow. What are you doing? Oh, because you've got 16 transistors. So you're backed up. That's why you're not putting stuff in there. So I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We just, we're just we just running out of that one resource. Ah, come on. Alrighty, let's go back and keep working on Mr. Oil, even though we haven't got the research yet. This is like the, even in vanilla, this is a big pain in the ass, getting that uh, getting that advanced oil research done uh, before you've actually got the advanced oil processing. So here we go, light oil is already in this pipe and it's gonna start going out there. So now, we need an exact same setup here, except we're going to make it twice as big, 8, 9, 10. Beautiful. And we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did over here. So if we do that, 1, 2, 3, 4, we've got two spots left, which is not enough for a beacon. Um, not that I care too much, because I don't think I really ever need to beacon the bloody um, chemical plants doing heavy oil cracking. Uh, just for your information, or if you're new to Factorio, a beacon is something that you can put modules in and it puts the effects everywhere. So you can put a line of beacons down here and it'll make this guy four times fast or something like that. So end game, you use a lot of them. But we are not in end game, we are in early game. And even in end game, I don't think this space will be doing too much. One, two, three, four. So we'll do that there. Do that there. And our aim is to make sure that all of this crap works beautifully when we need it to. Uh, let's go to the mall and get some more pipe. Because I really. Oh, 1,000 pipe. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good. And the water was on this one. Uh, where's my other water pump? Beautiful. And then water there, there, there. I'm assuming for light oil cracking it's the same side. I can't see why it wouldn't be. And this is actually the sort of scenario where you start to get in trouble because you've got all of this light oil running up to all these machines on the one pipe and this is where pipe throughput starts to really become a hassle. I don't think we're doing that much but if you start to get up to like 30, 40 machines, something crazy like that, that's when pipe throughput starts to become a really big problem. Okay, there and there, oh, it's too close, there and there, light it all up, one, two, three, four, 
bright as day we are looking at right now. Okay, 12, that's what I'm talking about. Flick it over to there and just flick it all in there. And that's pretty much it. So this is gonna be light oil. It's gonna go straight down into the uh, petroleum gas line. Petroleum gas is gonna run into petrol. Uh, it's gonna run into plastic and it's also going to run into making batteries, which, and we should be fine here. I think once we got all this set up, we should be fine. And then the only uh, pain we're gonna start running into is the rest of the stuff that we need for this. So let's look at what we can do now. Um, phenolic boards, uh, this is fine. We can build this locally um, when we need them because that's just wooden resin, which is wooden wood. So that's fine. Um, ferric chloride solution. As we saw, that takes iron ore and uh, this stuff, which takes those two, which takes those two, which we can both get from water. So all we need is a water producing thing and a whole bunch of crappy machines and iron ore. And iron ore is going to be the key component here that we cannot easily get on the bus. So what we're actually going to do is we're gonna thread some iron ore through and we're actually gonna thread some stone through as well because you can see this rail here, we're gonna need a lot of those and we're gonna build them in the mall and they need stone. So we're going to need stone and we're gonna need iron ore and we've got a line, I've been saving this line for some time and this is what it's going to be for. It's going to be for uh, stone and iron ore. And let's get bloody filter inserters. So that's, I think that's how we'll round out the episode is getting stone and iron ore on the bus together. Merge them onto one belt and then stretch them along like that. And we don't need a lot. So I think we're gonna put some restrictions on these chests. Okay, so iron will be up the top. Yeah, it start, it starts to look a little bit like spaghetti at this starting area because of all the crazy things we're putting through, but it's really fine. It's really okay. Just, just trust me, this is fine. Okay. Oh, bloody underground. Let's actually take some from here. Let's take half of them. Uh, That gets right in the way of the copper. We can't do that. Uh, there. So this is going to be iron ore. We're going to pull this through like this. And we're going to do the same trick we did with the coal, which is threading it underneath. Which is lucky that we got all of those undergrounds. And there, and there, and there, and there, and two, three, done. Now I don't want to split off these lines because these lines are perfect. They are perfectly fill filling all of that stuff. So what we're gonna do instead is just, we don't need a lot of iron ore, I feel like for this process. So we're just gonna get a little bit from somewhere. Maybe one or two of the good mining drills. We're really, really starting to break down here, but the iron is backed up. That's steel line anyway, so I think we're not using a lot over there. So what we're gonna do is just gonna create this. Get 
these out of the way so we can get rid of those. Still need those anyway. And that's a decent amount, actually. That's probably more than enough than we need directly on the bus, considering you're only going to run half a line down the bus. And then the other side is going to be stone. And since we don't really need a ton of stone bricks, this is stone, right? Yeah, that looks like stone. I don't want to get confused for lead. Since we don't really need a lot of the stone, we are just going to do it like that and just split off there because there's no real danger. Let's actually just drag it. No, that didn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there we go. And now we get to drag this all the way along. And up where the stone is. It's actually a little bit below the stone on the actual bus, so I think this should be fine. Gonna need to skip all of these things. Yeah, so there's the entry for it. And you can go like that. And you can go like that. And then we've got our stone and we've got our iron ore on the bus. How is this doing? Iron starting to come through. Uh, I always miss something, I always do. Goes through, goes through, goes through there. We really have to keep an eye on this sort of thing because one little mistake and suddenly you've just got no iron ore and it's just messes everything up. So that goes through into that chest. This guy has stone coming through already. That's beautiful. So there we go, we've got stone and iron ore on the bus going through in a half belt. And that's all we need to make ferric chloride down the road. We can make that wherever we want now as long as we have access to iron ore because we've got those wonderful, absolutely wonderful little water guys. So yeah, thank you very much. I think this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching and Oh, properly doing the big electronic circuits. This is this is like that. This is massive. Um, so that that's fine, and that plastic we got on the bus, silicon wafer, is comes from silicon plate. Calcium chloride comes from stone, which we just put on the bus, and hydrogen chloride, which we can get off and quartz silicon ore. So that's gonna be the next big challenge, getting a consistent source of silicon ore. That's our next best. But was it for silicon ore, we could just bundle a bunch of machines on the bus and make as many electronic circuit boards as we wanted and thus make as many blue signs as we want because yeah, it's just, we got everything else. We got absolutely everything else done. Uh, blue science, 11. That's stopped again. And I don't think we're 11 science off getting this. So we're going to have to look and see what's run out here. It's solder. Ah, damn it. Why am I always running out of this? looks like solder. I could have sworn I had enough of this stuff. I put like 100 solder in there. That should have been enough. Um, 138, how much more, you need one for every circuit board and we only need 75 circuit boards. I could have sworn I put enough in there. Oh, this is doing my head in. Okay, that's it, done. Thank you very much for watching and uh, ugh, these things, these things. Next episode, we gotta push through. I'll probably set up advanced oil processing next episode actually, but these things, gotta get them done. All right, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later.